Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying five bags of different random things for you from Baked in Brooklyn. We have tried this brand before, but we haven't had these items. So I have the sesame sticks, but then these are both pita chips. So I have multi-grain pita chips and garlic and parmesan pita chips. And mine are flatbread crisp, and I have the works and rosemary. So, just a little bit of everything for you. These were $1.99 a bag at HomeGoods. They, really. they had them up front as you're checking out. They had a box of these, and, and these are just the ones that we saw. They probably have more to choose from. These are just what we could grab. Uh, these delicious breadsticks are baked, baked in Brooklyn, where the water is special and the customers know quality bread. The crunch and flavor are unmistakably perfect. No trans fats, no cholesterol, no nonsense. Our sesame sticks are sprinkled with sesame seeds and flash baked at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for maximum crunch. Try them straight up as a wholesome snack or match them with creamy dips, savory spreads, or a good schmear. That'd be good. So Brooklyn, New York, of course. Uh, three breadsticks, 16 grams is 70 calories. That would be good dipped in like a cheese or a, a yeah. dip. Let's see. Okay, so you get three of these for 70 calories. That's pretty good. So why don't you just... Oh my goodness, it smells good. I love sesame anyway. There you go. Mm. Good, good and crunchy. Super strong sesame flavor. Mm. That's good. Those are good. I could, I could picture those dipped in something. Too. I could uh, definitely, yes. Uh, queso dip even. Yeah, Cool Ranch. Um, I mean, not Cool Ranch. Um, French onion. Yes. Uh, <laughs> they have a, they have a dip. Um, they sell it at Kroger with bacon, cheese and bacon. Mm -hmm. That'd be good. It's really good. Yeah, any of them. I mean, they're good by themselves, but I can also see them really good with some. Yes. Else. But yes, you could eat it by itself. Absolutely. Um, even this might sound far fetched, but even a red sauce. I think that would be good with even oh, a like red a, sauce. Like a marinara mm -hmm. or something like so that. So we mentioned cold dips. But I think that would even be good with some marinara sauce. I really yeah, do. That'd be good. Um, uh, good. The, the olive oil that they put on the plate at the Italian restaurant, you could even dip that in there. It's just good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to try the flatbread crisp next. No, please. Oh, please. the pita chips. Okay. These are the pita chips. Zero trans fat, no cholesterol. These are the multigrain. These are probably going to be the plainest thing we try. Uh, probably. Our multi-grain pita chips are always baked, never fried, and have a crispy mix of high fiber whole grains. Our healthiest pita chip. Try them on their own or with your favorite dip spreads or toppings. So, yeah, these are just going to be very, very plain, right? It says 14 chips are 130 calories. Gotcha. So these are probably mint. Oh, these look like, uh, these are thick. Look how thick that is. That's a pretty good... That is thick. There's two of them. Oh, is that what? Yeah. No, they're all like that though. Or what? Those are all stuck together. Oh, two. That's well, how thick they're supposed to be. Well, I'm telling you, there's a bag know, full every, of them stuck together. Every one of them broke apart. Well, maybe this is one that broke apart. Maybe they're supposed to be that thick. Well, pita makes sense. Your pita is supposed to be, pita bread has a pocket in the middle. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense there would be two of them. I'm just going to eat the half. That mm. is good. Mm -hmm. That texture would be something you go back for because it's a really good. It reminds you of Melba toast a little bit. So even though it's plain, there still is salt, but not a ton of salt, mm -hmm. and it still has. You get a the flavor of the chip itself. Yeah, which has got a good baked bread kind of flavor. Yes, it's delicious. It You're right. It's a baked. It's 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 hard to describe that, but. You know, like uh, fresh baked bread, it has a distinct flavor mm -hmm. when it comes out of the oven. That has that. Like toast. It. Yeah, yes, and it's absolutely, yeah. I think it's very if good. If you ever had Melba toast, it reminds you a lot of Melba. That's good. And this, I could picture that also dipped in stuff. That would be good. Yes. This dips. Um, this is garlic and Parmesan. Uh, so it's just saying it's garlic, same it's same, same thing. 120 calories for 14. 
I'm impressed with how many you get. Um, and these are the same thing. They're they're doubles. Yeah, they're. So I think you're you're right. They're supposed to be like that. Very crunchy. I love the garlic. When you put your nose to the bag, it's kind of stinky. Garlic is kind of stinky. Because that, yeah, garlic parmesan. Parmesan is kind of stinky. Mm hmm. But I love the fiber. Mm -hmm. They could have even had a heavier hand with the garlic and I would have been fine with that. Yeah, because, well, I don't, I get the, a little bit of the parmesan. I get most of the garlic, but. That's what, I, that's what I think I'm getting a lot of. It, but they could have even added more and I would have been fine with it because I like garlic so much. You mentioned dipping it in the garlic and oil. Kind mm -hmm. of, that that kind of reminds me of bread yes. dipped in that. That is, that is delicious. Mm -hmm. Very I well. wonder if Baked in Brooklyn makes an Italian one. I don't know. Like, a, you know, yeah. we've had them many times that have tasted like the seasonings, like a pizza, a pizza variety. Right. Uh, that they should if they don't because they would do a good job. Uh, these are the flatbread crisps. So now these are going to be one layer. I would think the, so. The pita was two layers. Right. These are going to be one layer. Um, like a New York everything bagel, bagel only flatter. This one's the works. So uh, it says it's a mix of caraway, poppy, onion, salt, and garlic. And it is 110 calories per 10. Yeah, and these are singles. More like a cracker. Yes. Yeah, like a cracker. I think this is one with a lot of stuff on it. Well, there's some in here with more. Someone's on it. Well, there's a seed in there. I don't think it's the caraway. It's a strong seed. Mm hmm. I've, I've had that flavor of some, in something else. I think it's the caraway seed. Um, this is good. They did a good job with it. But I personally would not... If I ate them all the time, I would get used to them, of course. But I don't care for the flavor of that seed. Yeah, it's very, very strong. I've had that in something else that we've tried. Yes, but and I just don't... Uh, I don't care for it, yeah. uh, but they did a good job with it. It's not saying anything about the quality of this. So if you like um, those caraway seeds and poppy seeds and garlic, you're going to really, really like this. Does this have poppy seeds? Because mm -hmm. I'm thinking that's the flavor I'm getting is poppy seeds. Yeah, it's that, poppy. I think that's poppy seeds is that strong flavor. Uh, Might be caraway. No, no, it's one of the two. It's very, very strong. I think it's poppy seeds. Um, it's a little too much for me. I wish they'd cut back just a little bit on the this is the last one and it's flatbread as well so one layer and this is the rosemary so now kevin kevin's not a big fan of rosemary well, i don't mind rosemary as long as it's not so strong that you can't breathe i really like rosemary 12 chips is 120. pretty strong mm -hmm. it's pretty strong but it's not as overpowering as the seeds in that um the mm -hmm. world no to me, I think that rosemary is a winner. I it's think a it's decent delicious. mix. Yeah, it's not it's not too overly done. No, they did not over. It's not overpowering. We've had chips before with rosemary yeah. that have been stronger. It makes you hard to breathe. Even this so is strong. yeah. This is just enough. But yeah, we've had crackers. I think mm -hmm. from like Whole Foods, and um, I think they put just enough in here to know. Oh, that's rosemary, but they didn't go overboard. Mm -hmm. So um, I like the I like the flatbreads, but. My favorite texture is probably the pita chips. And, yeah, those and, are those are hard to bake. And either one of those is really good. Mm -hmm. It depends on if you like garlic or not. And then I really like the sticks. Mm -hmm. The flatbreads, I could probably go without eating the flatbreads again because the flavors, I don't necessarily like the flavors of either one of them greatly. I mean, but, they're not bad flavors for what they are. Right. They are what they are. Right. But I bet if you went to their website, I bet they make, it just stands to reason that they would make these same flavors in each. You would think so. You yeah. would think, yeah, like you would think that the, um, 
the Parmesan and garlic, they would also make that in a flatbread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe they don't. I don't know. But it just, you would think that they would. Um, but you all will have to let me know if they make like an Italian pizza kind. Uh, because I think that would be really, really good. I, I think this is a great brand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Their brands, they're And for a dollar ninety-nine, I don't think that's bad at all for how many you get. I mean, you're getting, you're getting... Uh, quite a few in there. That's that's gonna last mm -hmm. you a while. Yeah, these are good. I think all these are good for would be excellent for dipping. Now we make our own Chex Mix. Do you think those pita chips? If you yeah, you have to break them up pretty good, but but they would be good. They would be a good flavor in there. You think they would be? Yeah, yeah but you had to break them up in a lot smaller pieces because they're so hard. Right. You wouldn't want that. That really hard. Of course, we put those normally, little bagel bites. That's in what there. I was gonna say. Normally, we buy bagel bites. But bagel bites is more like toast. Uh, yeah, it is. It's a little softer. It's these like a are, crouton. These are really, really hard. Bagel bites are like croutons. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope if you see them at ho your home goods, you'll grab a bag because a dollar ninety nine, and they have so many to choose mm -hmm. from. Um, and we've tried them before uh, on the channel, other ones. Uh, so they have a lot more than this to try. So I will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.